Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about the only Stephen King script to be published in hardcover, unless you count Sorry Right Number, which is a script in one of his collections, I can't remember which one, but today we're talking about Storm of the Century, which didn't make a bad movie, it just felt like an amalgamation of all the Stephen King tropes ever. Snow, Stranger Coming to Town, Crazy Murder, uh, all different kinds of things going on. And we're going to talk about how they connect to the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower universe both together. Uh, this is not one of those books that I enjoy reading. I like watching the series well enough. Um, the, the re reading of scripts is not a, a, is not a fun thing for me. Uh, I like narrative. I like prose. Uh, it is not a poorly written script. It's just not something that I want to pick up over and over and over again. I've read this once when it first came out, uh, right after the movie. I believe it came out after the movie. I could be wrong, but, uh, I just don't care too much for this book, uh, because it's not a book. I don't, I don't consider it a book. It's a, it's a script, of course. Um, and I'm really wondering why we never got a rose red script. Maybe he learned his lesson with this one. I'm not sure. Uh, there, there's several things that he has done, like Sleepwalkers, that he never published. Well, we all know why he never published Sleepwalkers. But I, I do wonder why specifically it was this one. If any of you guys know, I, did, I didn't do any hunting online or anything. If any of you guys know, uh, please leave your, even your own theories down there in the doobly-doo. But as far as my theories, we're going to go ahead and jump into them. Uh, they aren't really theories. This one, I don't really have a way it connects other than pretty much what everybody else online is saying. Um, I went and double checked certain things uh, with the it's it's not on the registered connections on uh, Stephen King dot com. It is not on there whatsoever um, other than the user. Uh, stuff and I agree with all the user stuff so I'm just basically going to go over the stuff that I found and how it connects but also it's almost exactly the same as what's on his website as far as the user connections are concerned so the first thing we're going to talk about is Linoge carries a cane with the head of a wolf on it um, in the stand, Randall Flagg turns into a wolf. He might in other books as well. I, I can't recall off the top of my head anyways. Um, uh, also, the wolf is one of the beams, uh, you know, one of the several spokes of the wheel that is the Dark Tower. Um, you know, you have the, the beam of the bear, the turtle, all, all that stuff. You have the wolf as well. Um, so you can say that the wolf is the arch... It is the arch evil, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think that's a very hard connect there. Another thing is uh, Linoge is an anagram. I believe that's the right word. Anagram for Legion. And Walter calls himself uh, uh, what the Ageless Stranger. Not Walter. Did I get that wrong? I think I got that. Anyways, Ageless, Ageless Stranger, right? Randall Flagg, whoever you want to talk, whoever you want to, call, whatever you want to call him. He uh, is he calls himself by Legion also. Now the uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we already talked about that. Uh, that's that's about everything. The one thing that I did not catch. Uh, I don't know how I missed it because it's one of those things. In fact, I told my buddy Patrick, if it has anything to do with 19, I usually catch it right out the bat. I wasn't even really paying attention. Uh, I guess I wasn't paying enough attention because I completely missed that the radio station, um, is channel 19 on little tall Island. So that is one thing that the, uh, the user submitted connections helped me out with, but, uh, this is going to be a very short episode because that's all I got. Um, it felt like it felt like Stephen King, Not I don't want to say that he knew what he was doing, but it felt like uh, he was, th this is one of those stories where he just kind of compiled everything into one story. And Rose Red kind of feels like that also. It's kind of The Shining. It's kind of not, it's kind of the Winchester house. He, he just kind of threw together a bunch of ideas and made a movie. And that's what this one feels like as well. There's nothing really that stands out to me other than how the story, the book, whatever you want to call it, how the movie ends, which is uh, Linoge getting away with the kid and the kid becoming whatever the hell Linoge is, or is it 
flag? Is it Walter? Is it, we just keep on going. Right. Um, but I don't want to undersell the script because it is a good story. I enjoy the story. It's just one of those that I, I prefer it to be a visual medium. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling that way about Sleeping Beauties, the graphic novel. Also, I prefer it much more as a visual medium than I did ever, than I ever did the book. But on top of that, uh, it was supposed to be a TV series. Uh, Sleeping Beauties was. But that's all I have for this uh, episode of Thursday Theorist. No, I probably will not have another Thursday Theorist up until Billy Summers comes out, um, which I am looking forward to. Uh, the other books, I, I'm think I'm considering doing The Dark Tower uh, books, but I'm not entirely sure since I've already tied all these books together, how I'm going to do the Dark Tower Thursday theorists, because they are, of course, in the Kingverse and firmly rooted in the Dark Tower universe because they are Dark Tower books. Also, another thing, if you guys would like to help me out and uh, go through the files, go through the videos, and tell me which books I haven't done, because he's done 70 plus books. This is episode 60 something, I think. Maybe 62, I believe. Um, if you guys would like to go through there and figure out uh, which ones I'm missing, I would appreciate it. I'm going to go through too. Um, I, I, I'm not ta I don't, I'm not going to go through like individual uh, not collections. I want to do the collections, but like individually published short stories and things like that. Like I've already done Elevation, which is a novella. Um, I don't think I did Drunken Fireworks because it was in Bizarre Bad Dreams. But uh, yeah, let, have I done Bizarre Bad Dreams? I can't even remember. But uh, yeah, leave that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. Um, let me know whether or not you like this story at all. Storm of the Century. Uh, it's one of those odd, odd stories. It kind of, it, it gets, it, I think Sleeping Beauties is more popular than this. Uh, not Sleeping, sorry, Sleepwalkers. I feel like Sleepwalkers, and I, I was talking about Sleeping Beauties. I didn't, you know, make a mistake earlier. But uh, with with Sleepwalkers, you know, I hear more about Sleepwalkers because it's so over the top and silly than I ever do about this mini series. Um, so let me know how you felt about the series down there in the doobly doo. But until next time, oh, and if I missed anything, I would love to hear from you. Please, and if I can verify it, then I will pin you. Whatever. <laughs> but until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.